Entertainment Trio, Saturday evening radio, no good again. It's too much, too much to bear. It's too much, nice but making it clear. Guns out this morning, Babylon coming again. Guns out this morning, question when will it end? so much and think she did love me gone away me never save nothing nothing me never save as she me give the whole of me be all me left with is my bible in a me and a chant of psalms each and every day yes people you're in the voice of nisbet is in the studio with us this evening the 9th of january 2016 yeah big up on yourself out there in radio land nisbet good evening and welcome to the entertainment show bless up there yourself yes um, i greetings greetings nice to have you in the studio i love you up on time and things today i show the rest of the world say how I listen for learning the music business, a business stuff, deal it like business. I'm really, I'm really appreciate that still. Yeah, man. So, if you kick off the interview, you know, we are, we are jump right into that song. I would play a while again. I'm going to tell you about the experience with that song and how it come about. And you say a real story, but a real story, real story for you. A real story, man. Can't get no realer than how yes. real it is. <laughs> <laughs> House burned down, yeah. girl run gone. Ever so often, mm. certain things happening in your life where. Sometimes you really wonder if I really you are go through them things. Mm. Cause sometimes it just smooth and then it just get rocky. Yeah. So So this song instead is your totally personal experience or persons around you as well. Yeah, and you create this song um, as a result of Blessings. Mm. Yes, 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 blessings. Yes, I both of us born down girl run mm. gone with all I pay a Bible in um chant two psalms. Brush off yourself, bounce back mm. at them. Mm. No, said there is the Almighty. Mm. And that's the way you need for the man. Ah, cool. Doesn't matter where I go through, there are mm. always somebody out there where I go through something worse than you. Mm. Well, that you so yeah? have to firm up yourself when time. I don't really mm. and truly surprise when problem arrive, you know. Mm. You know, because I personally think the problem is not the problem as the problem, you know. I think the problem is when you can't find a solution find a for solution. whatever problem. Oh, makes sense. Once there's a solution, it's no more, no, no, no more will be a problem. Naturally. Naturally. All right, cool. So I realized from the themes in your songs, from a couple of songs of this thing, it's like, basically it's a lifestyle thing. I said it before, it's like a, like a lifestyle thing. And your music is, I could say, quote unquote, more than the quiet, not to say quiet, yeah, quiet side of the music in terms of your inspiration and so forth. And um, that, why, why do you choose that side of um, the music? And as, as some person said, all people say Boogiega. Well, mm -hmm. let me clear up that or clarify. Yes. It's not about Nesbeth choosing it, it's really the side that chooses Nesbeth. Yes. I realize that that is the more comfortable side of Nesbeth. I am mm -hmm. here for a purpose. Yes. And I definitely want to do as much as I can possibly do. Mm -hmm before I and I chat along. And I really appreciate what you just said all again. You know, the side where you're comfortable with. I have artists who are not comfortable with them still do the other side just because they want the hype. I'm gonna rate that about you still. If, 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 as I say that still, you see me? And next we move on to you know a man who sing song very often. You see me? I don't know if you write song and him now and boss but <laughs> you know, say so when they come, they come hard. <laughs> That's all I can say. No. So, me assume, say, yo, you know, right song, you know, you know, release very often. Now, whenever you release, it, it. And that, to me, that seems like a person who sit, think, and calculate everything first before you say, let go at you. We have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, as you know, as mm. an artist, you know, if you get up every day and you write 30 and 40 songs, you mm. know it will be impossible for them 40 song they really have the ingredients where it need to have mm -hmm. in order to be a song that will stand the test of time yes a lot of artists are not here for that and so whatever they are here for you see them put forward the action to match what they are here for mm -hmm. a momentarily thing this minute a cabbage are gone mm -hmm. 
mm. next minute carrot are going so <laughs> i feel them think that mm. and i ain't not there for bash no one because maybe that's as far as them can go yes but i do know that you hear me I better you sit down and hold a meditation if you're here and you stand for something mm. then make sure whatever you're singing is saying the same thing as well yes yeah, man, I really read the reasons it makes sense to me say, because as I said before it makes sense just do it for six songs and then by a month one song eclipse the next one and you lose out when you could have a one tune and it's not run and it's not a, and it's not a, 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 a lose out like mm. you look on the monetary side mm. of it you know it's about how much you can inspire. You know, I am blessed to, 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 to be in a position where I can inspire the nation. Yes. And so, being that blessed, then I have to pick, choose, and refuse my battles. There are a number of people that approach me, approaches me with songs. Yes. And just like the famous Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. Baby Face, them write some of, some of Michael Jackson's Michael Jackson. biggest songs. Yeah, man them write song for 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 Bob Marley as well mm -hmm. and a number of international stars so I don't really lock the door on anyone that come forward with any message mm -hmm. but then if I have to listen and I have to look in on it then I have to in some way shape or form program it in a way that it represent Brian Nesbitt mm -hmm. so you're not gonna come and give me something that says opposite from Brad Nesbitt and I'm gonna gladly do it because mm -hmm. it is a composition and it is new and all of them things. Yeah. Well and that speaks to a man who knows what them want still because no man can shift for your path still I'm right that still my thing. So in your music now how did you get started in the music? Ah first I should say how much time I have because my journey is not a normal journey, uh, a journey with Captain. <laughs> not five minutes or uh, two minutes. Yeah, you know, just, so. tell me, just tell me about it, man. <laughs> All right, basically, I, yeah. I, attend, um, I grew up in Arnett Garden. Yes. In Kingston 11, 12, and 13, I mm. should say. Kingston 11, 12, and 13, 13. Trenchtown, mm. Max Seal, and Waterhouse. Okay. Um, mm. I grew up with my mom and my dad. Sometimes my dad was away trying to get the food for the table. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, it's my mom around. Yes. And what I have seen her, my mom create miracle, miracle. Mm. Because up till now, I can't understand how my mom stay focused throughout the years of having us around when there's no father. Mm. And I can tell you this much is I. The regular ghetto man story. You yeah. sleep on a you day in a house where people are pass out a road and can see you. Can see your foot on the bed or oh, you know understand. your hand yeah, on the bed and rain a fall and you have to set bad pan in the middle of the bed and you sleep, and and you sleep around the bad pan mm. and sleep so well that you them drop off of the bed because they get something where you get used, get used to. Yeah. So as rain a fall you run, you know where the bad pan dead. So you mm. go pick up the bad pan, put in the middle of the bed and Yes, yeah, so the type of life that we never grow come come see much. So mm. whatever we have to our disposal, then we have to just use it Sweet. to the best of our ability. Mm. And I watch my mom struggle and I tell myself that, you know what, Nesbeth, you have to make a difference. Mm. But how am I going to make that difference? Then I sit down, I sat down and I said, you know what, I have to go to school and take in my lesson. Because while going to school, you know, is a difference in going to school, learning, wanting to learn, or just mm. going to school because you were sent to school. Okay. So, so which school did you attend? Charles Smith Comprehensive High School. Cool, cool. Um, mm. But let me speed it up a little. At Charles yeah. Smith Comprehensive High School, I started to sing songs like sing over back people song. Mm -hmm. When you get free time, um, friends them would tap the desk and make beer nice and teacher come and check me if you suspend me <laughs> and you um, know yeah, yeah. I understand. <laughs> all of them think they will go through most of the artists yeah, man, go through yeah, them man, through them the after leaving charles oh i got a chance to perform at the ronnie williams center my first concert i think that was um it was a charles smith comprehensive fundraising concert and mm. they had put me on the lineup and oh. uh, uh, that was my first time on stage i can't remember exactly how it went mm. but you know i don't think it was too bad or it was too good too, i think yeah. it was probably in between so after i leave school and thing and mm -hmm. 
I'm going to work, work in a crazy gym and you know, work on site. And because as I say, mm. we don't have no uncle or no auntie with the other foreign. And yes, yeah, <laughs> we have to try to look it for cook it. You know mm. what I say? And, and so, take on the road and uh, do some work and uh, collect a little thing and uh, break a little bread for my mom and you know, help out the family here, there. You mm. know? And uh, uh, until I decide that, you know what? Uh, I work something on my way. You know. <laughs> <laughs> time time I do on the work, you know, yeah, they are singing and yeah, people sing. say, hey boy, it's up your nice now, you are singing on the job yeah, for. Boy. I make nice of people here mm -hmm. and them things. Because you know when you know connect and knives you make. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden when you connect, everybody say, we had sweet music. So we got through that phase there. I bridge your mm -hmm. name, Ronald Garden. Um, somebody introduced him to me and from them time they know I start get a little taxi ride like you know, taxi I come on my yard, come come pick me up and wow. them things. So I feel like a star. Like a, star. <laughs> a bus here run go up and bigger mm. bus, bigger doctor I drive. So them time they are taxi I come for Nesbitt. And, and, and this was like when? What in the 90s. In the 90s. In okay. 90s. Right, cool. So, you know, that kind of gave me, motivated me, you know. Mm. But I feel like the star I really want to feel like, you know. Mm. And after doing that, it's like I had gone to a number of talent competition, mm -hmm. and uh, I I have won a couple of them. Like, come second, uh, some of them. Like, what's well, so one of those competitions? Well, I can remember um, the Big Stone Talent Competition that it held at um, Doctor Bird Nightclub in Alfred Tree, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I won um, the trophy. In the preliminary round mm -hmm. that took me to the grand final. Yes. Now when I've gone to the grand final, I won the first place trophy. Mm. I, I won the most disciplined contestant trophy. Wow. <laughs> I won the best dress um, mm -hmm. artist mm -hmm. and, 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 and the best performance. So I walk away with about four trophy. Mm. on the grand final night so including the one from the preliminary, the preliminary round it's yes. five trophy wow. so, five trophy in a one competition yeah like a football we are top okay. <laughs> and what happened now is like leaving out of the 90s now yeah. uh, find myself around shocking vibes yeah, cool. um being a man i in them time the mm. o two o three and uh, 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 oh, not that being the man, I really know kind of name. You know, that being the man. Being the man, being the man. So, we're going to go and big up being the man. Big up yourself. It's like, we're going to go and studio now, and we're there at the studio. And for some reason, which is definitely, it's a long story how oh, I got mm. to go on that rhythm, but I'll just put it at, yeah, I get a chance to record my first um, popular song on the Golden Bathtub rhythm, the song title, um, Let It Be. Really? Let It Be, popularly known. Um, as uh, I love her, she loves me, mm -hmm. and that's in 0203 mm -hmm. and the golden bathtub rhythm. Mm -hmm. And then I move on from shocking vibe because the no focus was there, okay. the focus was being the man oh, at that so, time. Okay. And oh, so it was, it was not a sheer energy there, mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, at one point, I thought that getting that popular song it would push them to do much more because mm -hmm. now I'm in the line of duty, yes, but it never worked, you know. So I guess it never did for work that yeah, time. Then. Cool, yeah. So I move on and I and I and I and I found a producer named Kemar McGregor, and he recorded my first hit song, Board House. Board House. Yeah. <laughs> and then after Board House, then Guns Out, Guns Out. and uh, Baby Mother and a few more friends, mm. friend for sale, and a few more. And then mm. after that, no, I recorded, I produced a song. Two songs. Uh, self produced? Yeah, mm -hmm. no, me, I produced, me and John Biggs mm -hmm. produced two songs, Anna Samoa Live and Drive By. And mm -hmm. then I move on from that. In that, that's in about 2009, 2010. Mm -hmm. And then I was a loner after that. And then my present company that I'm signed with now, mm -hmm. Entertainment Soul. And my manager's name, my manager name is Eccentric. Yes, she sir. came to Eccentric. Jamaica. Yeah. She lives in London. She is mm -hmm. a patriotic Jamaican, and she resides in London. So she mm -hmm. came to to. She was a TV presenter, and she came oh. to Jamaica and did an interview with me. And she got blown away with that <laughs> interview. And she decided that you know what, I never heard of you before. Yes. And so I know a number of people out there really and truly don't know you. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to do my best to see when I get back to the UK how I can sit down and see how I can put you to the world. Okay. And, okay. Yeah man, so um, with the, with this, I'm um, working with Eccentric and what, what was the product, what's the production again? Soul Entertainment? Entertainment Soul. Entertainment Soul, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, 
It's through them um, you recorded uh, My Dream. Yeah, I came out with a, a, a EP called mm. Victory on the Entertainment Soul. I done a song, um, Old Gangali first, mm. oh, and then yes. the first project that was put out for mm. Nesbet on the Entertainment Soul mm. is called Taste Victory, an EP called mm. Taste Victory. Taste Victory, yeah. Yeah. So uh, when, when, when was that released? That released the last year. Last year? Yeah, released last year. The launch um, kept at the Jamaica Pegasus okay, um, cool, cool. land and the Jamaica Pegasus land. Mm -hmm. And that 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 song, Taste Victory, mm -hmm. also took me to Europe, UK, and a tour that I had gone for July, mm -hmm. July, August last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and people. The EP is called Victory, and it is distributed by Zojak, Zojak. worldwide. Ah, cool. Yeah, people, and you're listening to the entertainment trail. <coughs> We're speaking with Nesbitt. We're going to take a listen to Taste Victory and come back to you. Through the art she played, she appreciate life Mama used to tell me, son, don't waste life That's why me work hard to survive And now I'm close to the end of my broad days Now I can taste victory Yes, people, yes, we're back on entertainment trail Yes, this bit Over there, over there, yeah, man, so um, In a journey across the world and the music, a pick up and thing, and, and all them nice stuff. You know? so like, where, 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 where are you, you perform for, first and foremost? I perform. Uh, maybe you can't go even name with all them, though. No, I perform <laughs> in the Caribbean about probably yeah. 10 islands. Like which um, islands, sir? Like Bahamas, Grenada, Anguilla, yeah. St. Kitts, mm -hmm. Antigua. Yeah. Um, uh, you never perform. You never perform at Saint Martin. No, but uh, I, uh, that's where I land when I when I'm going to Angola. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. I perform in 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 Canada mm -hmm. a couple of times, and I perform in about 15, 14 states in in America. Whoa! <laughs> Tour you go your team one. So oh, oh, was it? And, uh, and 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 and, <coughs> and sorry, mm -hmm. I yeah, perform man, in Europe too, Germany, mm -hmm. Belgium. And in the UK as well, right? Eh? I mentioned Germany. Big up um, Singer Gold over there in Germany. You know? Big up Felix Ruling. Big up yourself in Germany from Boomers Promotions. Big up on yourself. And I see, see, big up all the money I listen to us in Africa. And entertainment channel global, worldwide. DJ B more from Zimbabwe. Big up yourself. Some of the money you ask for, because that's what they will do. But big up for the stuff, everybody will listen to the entertainment channel. We don't listen. Big up for the stuff over there in Kenya, Brucho, Washington. So, those performance experience, what was those experience? Those? You mean like yeah, all of them put yeah. together? <laughs> like, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the, the feeling, I, I prefer, I, first, I'll take, we'll take it from this angle first then. Performing outside of Jamaica and, and performing um, here, how, how, how different is it? Is the preparation like a total different mindset in terms of how you prepare, prepare to perform? Yeah, most definitely. In mm. Jamaica, <laughs> Come like Jamaica have a thing name. Do your thing and move. <laughs> <laughs> Do your thing and move. Cause you know one show have yeah. have 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 all five hundred artists yeah. one night. So do your thing and move. Mm -hmm. Um well elsewhere now mm -hmm. is like you have sometimes you have all the time in the world for do whatever you get for you get to do a number of stuff that you mm -hmm. can't get to do when you're in Jamaica. Yeah. That's why when you see a man up on the stage and the man like sing, a man say, Jamaica, you're there, you know, Europe, you're there, you king. <laughs> what do they do? Like, like oh. it's weird to sing out a song in Jamaica. Yeah. Some people look upon it like, how am I do? You sing mm -hmm. three, four songs from the start to the end, how am I do? A Jamaica, I'm there, like, them like that pull up something there and dash with that and mm -hmm. you know what I say? Yeah, yeah. But you still have people that appreciate love the music for what it is. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the different, the, it, it, it is a different because when you go the, elsewhere, they make provision so that you can do as much as you would want to do. Oh. But here, as mm -hmm. you know, you know, just a vibe. 
vibes thing. Catch your energy and move. <laughs> oh, so there's various kind of, and those overseas, they put, they put um, less persons on, 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 the, on the event then. So maybe like uh, four or five persons. So each person can maybe get No, you like have a, different, oh. different events in the car. You have mm. some man where have the same Jamaican mindset oh. when you leave Jamaica. Mm. And they will definitely do it the same way it is. it has been done in Jamaica. Mm. But you still have people who are really and truly mm. want people to take the time out and listen to you whatever you have you have to just package it in a in a in a in a in a, in a way whereas when you give it to them they can feel appreciated you know mm. so um we 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 perform you would say that um you get the best uh, reception and like it, it like it basically over over wow you you have a general star i really need to do this in terms of how people react to you and anyway, them and they even on stage and off stage uh, in general, I'm a people person. I'm mm. like meet people, so it kind of give me a vibe. Mm. Just like how the writer so now I'm an interview. Yeah, I do that interview, yeah. and <coughs> you is a man where you lose yeah, man. your eyesight, don't? Yeah, yeah, man. And just to listen the way in which you ask the question, them I know you're happy. Mm. You know, it, it, it inspire me. So this can also go down as one of next best moment <laughs> interview right, is concerned yeah. so these are the little things that mm. really you know inspire Nesbet. like mm. who will me like you doing it now you're blind yes. or that's the way yeah man, i can answer that one yeah because yeah, yeah, i don't really have a problem with that. yeah and and the, the way in which you ask your questions them mm. really and truly them on point and mm. i've gone a number of interviews gone to a number of interviews and you're considered to be one of the best. Alright, cool, cool. So, so, so I have gone places whereas the reaction is something that all the reaction I've see, I see myself not there so but even mm. higher. Mm. So whenever it comes forward, it's something that makes me feel good inside, but it's not something that will shock me. Yes. Alright, cool. I understand. Yes, listeners, and you're listening to Nesbeth and Entertainment Children. Yeah, yeah, my dreams now about me. I talk to him about my dream now. The first, first time you hear that song, I'm in love with me. I tell him, man. Yeah, so, what is, what, what, tell me about that song here now. We get in, get, get down into that song. Yeah. What do you mean? The production, how it come about? The production, it come about. Yeah, man. I it come about. First, I must tell you that is yes. I produced this song wow. for my company, Entertainment Soul. Entertainment Soul. You know, it was, it was the rhythm mm. it was built that, um, built at um tough gang record in studio yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and the song came about i decided that i really want to sit down and pen something that is different just like how i came about with um Bordos. Bordos, yes you know i said you know what I, I definitely want i don't want to follow the pack mm-hmm. because music most of music is a follow the pack thing yes i'm gonna sing both red and everybody starts singing both red. <laughs> especially if the red work mm-hmm. everybody does a sing about it so me decide say go oh, and take a different avenue now taking a different avenue at times can be very hard because sometimes when the people them are gonna not for you to now tell them to go west, the west. it is not something yeah, yeah. easy but then it's you have to spot. believe in a you mm-hmm. so that even when you say west them they even ask you why west them just come forward just you come understand forward, yeah. so i decided that i was going to sit down and pen something that is different um when i link up with one of my bridging merrick shaw mm-hmm. we always sit down and whole vibe and i said you know what i'm going in this direction and from there so just pen to paper and meds and meds and you know mm-hmm. my dream my dream the, 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 the talk and the tone <laughs> Yeah man, it's a nice production and things still and it have what I like with um my with my dreams in terms of the rhythm, it seems like like it's like it's, it's a song is on a mission. In terms of the whole beat itself, it's like mm-hmm. someone it's like a walking beat. If if you understand like a soldier walking beat. Alright, let me tell you about mm-hmm. that now. You see that song mm-hmm. um is and we had gone to the studio to record two songs and the yes. and the, 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 the bridge in them play a rhythm for the first song mm-hmm. and they were playing a next rhythm like how them picture Nesbet, how them view Nesbet, the stigma around Nesbet, mm-hmm. Nesbet calm, laid back so they might build a rhythm in another, in another direction so yeah. I tell them that you know what, I, I want something different you know? so they ask me what is it that you want Mm. because they can see the little disappointment on them face because yeah. they know music <laughs> yeah, so yeah. they say what is it that you want I said you know what 
I may can I may not be able to explain it to you. Mm. But when I hear it, I can tell you that is it. So you know after the drum station I beat the drum and be about six to seven different drum pattern yeah. and there comes my dream drum pattern yeah. and I said that is the one I want and them look for my good and I said Nesbet you sure <laughs> and I said that more because there was a spiritual connection yes. that 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 speak even louder than my body language because mm. that that you have to understand is a high level of spirituality with this song you know mm. this song is not a song where anyone can really overlook in if you are dealing with life mm -hmm. you have to tune into the song because the song in its own shape and form encourage the ones that is not doing anything to get up and do something yes. the one that is doing something it inspired them to step a next step further mm -hmm. to their success the one that is rich it inspired that one to, to to move to wealth and it also inspire each and every level to appreciate what you have yes. and move on instead of just sitting down telling yourself that that's it mm -hmm. yeah man cool cool i'm like yeah can i see that don't listen to you. even not be even not listening to the words of the songs the rhythm itself can tell you that still from quick well for me look at it still <laughs> yeah man so we're moving into realizing that you are now on rebel salute and Will this be your first time performing on Rebel Salute? No, it no. will definitely be about my fourth time, fourth time? third oh. time, fourth time, but it, it is my first time with the name that I have now. Oh. Because what Bordeaux and Guns Out, those mm. tracks, so let it be, have done, mm. this I am more in demands now. Yes. For this song, this song really show me that the phone I'm having in my pocket at work. Yes. So it keep ringing keep off, ringing, ringing off, off, and everybody try to express the how deep my dream touches them. Mm -hmm. And at times, you can definitely hear them crying over the phone. Mm -hmm. I even go at concert, and you know I've done the GT Tail Extravaganza yes. Christmas Day, and and I definitely I, I I saw a patron you know crying, mm -hmm. you know crying when they try to express how deep the song goes within mm -hmm. so it is something that i have never have had an experience of such never with none of my songs, my songs. Okay. so i've always been getting yes next better nice to the artist and a trouble nobody mm -hmm. you always stay within the line <laughs> you are a peaceful youth and all of them thing the yes. nice like a song but you know most of the people that approaches me about this song my yeah. dream is telling me that it is an anthem yeah man can i be that this song is here to stay just like when you listen back um, bob marley a long time song though. even a pastor I called know. me mm -hmm. and i said rasta and a pastor called me and said nesbeck i tell you this this song here i know a normal song and he uh, tell me say I want to play it in I'm church. <laughs> he said this song is an inspirational yes. song, and I want to play this song in my church, because one time the pastor, like I don't, somebody told me that the pastor been playing the song, um, all four or five hours straight. Yeah. In at the early stage, you know, when the song just came out, you know. Mm. So like when a man tell me say yo, me here a pastor, I play a song, and play it for four, four hours, five hours straight. So me now have it for saying in the Jamaica community, you yeah. know that um, a man can just call a man pastor, mm -hmm. call a man pilot. He doesn't necessarily yeah, have yeah. to be a pilot oh, or a yeah, pastor. Yeah, can be a new, yeah, because yeah, mm -hmm. you don't know Jamaican flex already. Mm -hmm. So I thought for a moment that it was a man that bear the name of a pastor, a pastor yeah. and not being Actual a pastor, pastor as a profession. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I realized it's a pastor, mm -hmm. it's a pastor, pastor of him own a church and all of that. Even a while ago, he called me. Oh. He called me a while ago, same day a country and him walking at the house and two of him little brother him going at the house and sing the song and him have to call me to tell them say him know me <laughs> and him tell me say yo this song your next but you haven't seen the half of this song yeah half man that's like that song you have to break both the barriers and to go all across every section you see me well i'm happy that i am the one that come about with this song and 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 it's not about just a nesbet and nesbet success mm -hmm. whatever happened to nesbet for nesbet happened for the ghetto youth it happened yes. for jamaica it happened for this beautiful island called Jamaica. It happened for the music industry. Because mm -hmm. I really want to contribute whatever there is to contribute contribute to music and not only take away from music. 
Yes. Yeah, man. Yes, some people are listening to the entertainment trailer are speaking with Nesbeth. Yeah, man. So, and so, I don't cut you. Rebel yeah. Salute is next week, the 15th. Yeah, I'll be working 15th. on Friday night. Yeah, man. And a number of people told me that they're they're coming in the island just mm. to see me perform <laughs> that song. <laughs> really? Yeah, man, cause cause. This song is really powerful still. This song is really powerful. And I song I'm going to say, over there, even when we did Anga next 100 years, and even this song is still like a play. Because this song is really powerful still. Every time I listen to this song, I just smile. That's all I do. Laugh and smile. That's, that's all it's I do. No, seriously. That is, that's all I do, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. It makes people do all kind of things, man. I'm on a ball while listening to the song. I'm on a smile. You know, I do everything in a one. Mm. Ball, smile. I'm just happy. It's like, it, it, it touched some place inside of the eye. Mm. The man, them, they, 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 it, it touched humanity on a level where it goes way beyond even when Nesbeth expects. Yeah, man. So what, what can what can people expect um, from you at um, Rebel Salute this week? I'll definitely yeah, go week, there and do what I have to do, you know. Mm -hmm. So I know the expectation is high because going into Rebel Salute with one of the biggest songs on the mm -hmm. island, they, 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 they will definitely be expecting more, much, a whole lot from mm -hmm. you. So I can't go there and drop the bar. But just remember, I'm an advocate of peace. Yes. And, 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 and I am not doing it for the hype. I'm not doing it for the hype. Yes. So I'll definitely go there to connect with the people, mm -hmm. to let them know that I, I, I am feeling whatever they're going through. And, 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 and through every storm, you will have the sunshine. Mm -hmm. I, I want to, to instill hope because hopelessness is on the rise so i'll definitely go there i'm happy to be a part of the lineup mm -hmm. rebel salute is a platform that you know every cultural artist aspire to 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 to, to perform on rebel yeah, salute that's so, true, yeah. and to see that i never get booked on rebel salute because i know the promoter mm -hmm. i book because i'm in a position yes that will I, I will be doing things for the festival the mm -hmm. same as the festival will be doing for Nesbeth. So yes. it, it, it's not a one way side, mm -hmm. one way to look on the situation. Yes. I am doing, I will be doing equally the amount of good that the show, the show is planning doing and for doing for Nesbeth. Yeah. yeah, man. And, and for all the upcoming artists or they are listening to this interview, this, um, this can show you that if you spend time and sit down and, and try to understand and manage your craft, good, good will come off it, you see me? Cause you know makes in the chair run for the hype. You know work for everybody. Cause you know it good. You know, nine nine day one day. You know last all the time. You see me I say some people, some person controversial enough to keep it going. But then everybody work for. But if you know you have a good talent, believe in yourself. That's the first thing. If you always believe in yourself and just work for your talent and, and make it go on. Yeah, so um the my dream now, um is just you have a video for it and so forth. Yeah, the video will be premiering tonight mm -hmm. on on stage. Yeah man. On stage CVM, it mm -hmm. will be preparing tonight. A number of people, you know, anticipate <laughs> this yeah. moment because you know we've been blasting it on on the social network. Because mm -hmm. you know Nesbet social page are, are um, Nesbet Reggae, mm -hmm. so it's Nesbet Reggae across the platform. Nesbet Reggae. Yeah, right, so it's cool. Nesbet Reggae that come from our website, mm -hmm. Nesbet Reggae Instagram. So it's across the platform. So, so um, who who produced um this music video? Who who are, who's person in charge of this video? RD, RD Studio. RD Studios. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. So look out for the next bit, um, new video this evening. And on, on stage, stage 9, 9 p.m. Jamaica mm. time. Um, next bit, uh, one of them takes a while ago in terms of our professionalism and, and the, the, the music. Um, do you think, uh, if I can put it this way first, the, you have some artists basically. I'm go. Now, I think I'll hear my term. You have some artists when you try to contact them, even for example, for going and read them. Or even to contact them for do an interview, some of them believe that they're bigger than anything. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> Politics. <laughs> Politics of the well, music based industry. Based on how an artist view whatever he's doing, some mm -hmm. people have it as a business, mm -hmm. some people don't. And sometimes a man sing a certain song, then you know where his headspace is. Yes. Sometimes when you see a man operate in the street, then you know what to expect. Yeah. Now, if it's a business and you're going to treat this, as a business then i would advise you to take the necessary step that will definitely give it that business look mm -hmm. so if one is trying to get to you 
they can easily do so. And mm. I have to big up the ones that I called in a while ago and talk about the EP and so them have follow I and I career from mm. them time there. It's a joy and a blessing because I and I couldn't even do it by I and I so yeah, yes. you know, even when I have a team that is strong, that is doing as much as there 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 is to do, I still have to respect the people on the wayside that always encourage Nesbeth like it's gonna happen. You know, so I thank the ones that were calling and really make that speech and bless up the eye themselves. Yeah, Nesbeth. So yeah man, I understand that and if you treat it as a business, you have to just work with it as a business, you know. And a hype thing and nothing, you have to just be professional and done straight. Yeah, I yeah. think you get more from it like mm -hmm. that, you know. <clears throat> and as I said, it left up to what you want. Because sometimes you want more for someone than what than they want for themselves. Yeah, choose, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes when you analyze it, then you'll wonder, like, why would you come this far and then throw away everything? Mm -hmm when back then you, you you complain about not reaching somewhere mm -hmm. <laughs> it mm. is contradicting so if you come this far and you know there's a number of artists out there that really wouldn't mind taking your position then i guess you definitely have to just do what you have to do mm. or your team if by any chance you don't understand it then the team that you have around you must definitely take the time out to say to you in such a way that you will definitely understand it because sometimes our ego tends to send us in direction that we live to regret mm -hmm. because you know inflated ego is one of the biggest problem the industry have yes but then nothing is wrong with having a ego right now the the, the calendar start get busy based on the um the the, the rising of my, my dream. dreams yeah and so i have uh, couple show in America and uh, in the Caribbean mm. that I'm gonna do later down in the year they, they, those dates are getting together mm -hmm. so it will definitely be one of the most busiest here for Nesbeth okay cool my, my word 2016, 2016. definitely my team oh alright cool yeah man so as I mentioned, as I was speaking before in terms of organization and so forth, and when, when you speak about organization, I think um, Rebel Salute is yeah, go ahead. Yeah, man, it's one of the most organized, um, I just say, festival in the island. How how do you think this festival has, in some way, um, helped to portray Jamaican culture and uh, I guess Jamaican, um, I guess music and culture? Yeah, yeah all right. At Rebel Salute, mm -hmm. you don't expect to hear an artist like with any derogatory lyrics. Mm -hmm. You hear artists are burn the fire. You mm -hmm. know the fire now going to stop burn. Yes, sir. And if, you, <laughs> not, if you're not cleaning of yourself, and the fire will affect you. Mm -hmm. But let's hope for the moment when it affects you, it can take you across the side that you're supposed to go. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, in order to keep a cultural show, a show that as a rebel salute. Mm -hmm. I think it take a whole lot because sometimes them get all dance all artists on the lineup. Yeah. And instead of putting the name like for the dance hall artist, mm -hmm. they, they normally put your birth name. Yeah, so like this year they have Mova. <laughs> like this year they have Mova. That's why I'm coming to that next. So yeah, <laughs> about that yeah. So they know say mm -hmm. they have artists where they may sing a, sing a lot of derogatory songs, but mm -hmm. if you go and pick, you will find find out that they have some nice songs, some cultural songs as well. Mm -hmm. As them do a mixture of songs. Yeah, yeah. So for Rebel Salute to 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 do something like that over the years, then I just have to lift my hat to them and know mm -hmm. that you know what I just have to go and contribute whatever I, I can contribute to the show itself and to mm -hmm. our people to this beautiful country of Jamaica you know, mm -hmm. Jamaica all right cool cool so um I didn't continue on that same topic and um, they had a uh, move on on the, the lineup for this year um do you think that it will fit in like really fit in I just I guess it's a test for well, the promoter know where am I doing it the promoter <laughs> have an obligation you know, mm -hmm. to please the people and so 
I believe that whatever the lineup him reach for, mm -hmm. I don't think him him reach for a lineup from a personal point. Oh. I think him reach for a lineup where the demands. Yeah, anything that person must can there. contribute some and way. So, mm -hmm. and that's what I kind of like the herbal salute them. Mm -hmm. uh, the show is not theirs, it's the people show and I think them understand that so mm -hmm. I guess they are just doing whatever for the people. Yes. Alright, cool. And you know that Char will always be at Rebel Salute. He'll be down there next week and we'll be taking getting um coverage from him down there in Rebel Salute. And even you asked me earlier on the bridge and asked um what what um Oh, my schedule stay for, mm -hmm. for the rest of the year yeah, man. and uh, I have a website my website is like my estate yeah you know you go to my website you will definitely see just about everything about Nesbet so Nesbet Reggae brand new website nesbetreggae.com Nesbet you go there Reggae. you find out where Nesbet taking an interview on where in the world Nesbet is gonna be the other day I was like laying down and listening to Omi, you know, Omi with the big cheerleader because yeah, I've Omi, gone yeah. so many places in the world and mm -hmm. hear that song, you know, coming through various speakers in some different, different places. Yeah. And and I, I remember watching an interview on YouTube with him and I hear the bridging say, sometimes he wake up and he must ask them, uh, which country you know <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know 